हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज क्लास 19 ऑन सब्जेक्ट इनकम टैक्स फॉर बीकॉम फिफ्थ सेमेस्टर स्टूडेंट्स इन टूडेज क्लास वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व वन प्रॉब्लम ऑन इंसिडेंस ऑफ टैक्स एंड रेसिडेंशियल स्टेटस इन द प्रीवियस क्लासेस वी हैव सीन हाउ टू फाइंड रेसिडेंशियल स्टेटस ऑफ इंडिविजुअल while calculating or finding residential status of individual we verify basic conditions as well as additional conditions and based on how many basic conditions and how many additional conditions are fulfilled by individual we determine the residential status of individual in today's class we are going to solve 15 marks problem on incidence of tax and residential status before we directly start solving the sum let us first understand how many kinds of income that we need to consider while solving the problem when we are solving problem on residential status there are four kinds of income that can be given in the sum and those four kinds of income are number 1 indian income number 2 foreign income 3 exempted income 4 past untaxed foreign income what is indian income the income which is earned in india the income which is deemed to be earned in india income which is received in india deemed to be received in india are known as indian income next is foreign income what are foreign incomes the incomes which are earned in foreign country are known as foreign income in foreign income also we have two classification income earned and received in foreign country but the business is managed from india this is one kind of foreign income wherein this income is taxed in two hands it is taxed for ordinary resident and not ordinary resident wherein income earned in foreign country received in foreign country and the business or profession is managed from foreign country even this is one of the kind of foreign income wherein this income is taxed only in the hands of ordinarily resident talking about first income that is indian income indian income is taxed in the hands of all the residents that is ordinarily resident not ordinarily resident and non resident talking about third kind of income which is exempted income the incomes which are exempted from tax are known as exempted income and those incomes need not be taken in any column that means no resident has to pay tax on it neither ordinarily resident nor not ordinarily resident nor non resident nobody has to pay tax on exempted income and fourth kind of income is past untaxed foreign income past untaxed foreign incomes are those income which belong to foreign country in the past years and brought to india in the previous year such incomes are also not taxed to any resident that means such income is not considered while computing total income of assessee now let us start with the problem today's problem as i said it is a problem on incidence of tax and residential status as it is the first problem we are solving a simple problem today and in next class we will be seeing problem wherein we don't have only 5 4 points but more than that okay so let us start i'll read out the sum mr jetley's income for the previous year 2019 20 is given below number 1 royalty received from government of india rupees 
second information profit on sale of plant at london half is received in india amount is 150000 third information income from agriculture in england rupees 10000 ignore this we rupees 10000 next interest on indian company debentures rupees 20000 Fifth, income from profession in Tokyo received there, but the profession is managed from India. The amount given is rupees two lakh. Compute the total income of Mr. Jaitley for the assessment year 2020-21. If he is number one, ordinarily resident. If he is not ordinarily resident and if he is non-resident. Before we start solving the sum, let us understand each point and then we will solve the sum. First one that is royalty received from government of India. Royalty received from government of India is which kind of income? Just before some time i told you there are four kinds of income one is indian income second is foreign income third is exempted income and fourth is past untaxed foreign income royalty received from government of india here you are given the term government of india that means this income belongs to india therefore it is indian income and indian income is taxed in the hands of all the residents that is ordinary not ordinary and non resident has to pay tax on this income therefore royalty received from government of india is taken in all the three columns coming to next profit on sale of plant at london profit on sale of plant at london is a foreign income half is received in india half is received in india means half is received in london itself you will not be given each and every explanation in the sum some information will be provided and some information you have to understand based on half information that is given in the sum so in second point profit on sale of plant at london it is foreign income in bracket you are given that half is received in india means half is received in foreign country itself that is in london itself half means 75000 is received in india which is indian income 75000 rupees which is received in london which is foreign income coming to third point income from agriculture in england income from agriculture in england is 10000 rupees income from agriculture in england is a foreign income taxable only in the hands of ordinarily resident now in case instead of income from agriculture in england if you are given income from agriculture in india in that case that income comes under exempted income income from agriculture in india is exempted from tax but in this problem it is income from agriculture in england therefore it is a foreign income next is interest on indian company debentures 20000 let me clear you one thing dividend from indian company is exempted from tax but is it dividend given in the sum no it is interest on indian company debentures is given therefore it is an indian income of rupees 20000 and if it is indian income it is taxable in all the three columns coming to last one income from profession in tokyo received there it is income from profession from foreign country received there but further you are given information that the profession is managed from india so any business or profession which is managed from india is taxable in two columns though it is a foreign income it is taxable or it is taken into consideration to two residents that is ordinarily and not ordinarily resident has to pay tax on it
So compute the income of Mr. Jaitley for the assessment year 2021 if he is ordinarily resident, not ordinarily resident and non-resident. So let us start solving the problem. In book, you have to take computation of total income of Mr. Jaitley for the assessment year 2021. Make four columns. First column should be for income. Second, third, fourth column should be for ordinarily, not ordinarily and non-resident wherein we are going to write the respective amounts in those columns. First one, Indian income. Let us check what are the Indian incomes that are given in the sum. First one itself that is royalty received from government of India, 25,000 is Indian income. So, royalty received from government of India, 25,000 rupees. Just write down 25,000 rupees. It is taxable in all the three columns. Therefore, 25,000, 25,000, 25,000 rupees is taken in all the columns because it is Indian income. Coming to next, profit on sale of plant at London, foreign income. But any income received in India becomes Indian income. So out of 1,50,000, half of the income is received in India. Therefore, we have to take half of the income here that is what is the half of the income 75,000 rupees as Indian income the income received in India half that is 75,000 is taken in all the three columns why all the three columns because it is considered as Indian income So, we have taken 75,000 rupees in all the three columns. I hope you are understanding this. Out of 1,50,000 profit on sale of plant at London, 1,50,000 but half is received in India. Any amount received in India is Indian income. So, half of 1,50,000 that is 75,000 is considered as Indian income. Remaining 75,000 rupees is considered as foreign income. Where are we taking this income? It is under foreign income. C point B, profit on sale of plant at London, half is received in London itself. Amount is 75,000. Here we are not writing the amount in all the three columns but we are writing amount only in one column that is ordinarily resident. What is the reason? Because it is foreign income we take it only in one column that is ordinarily resident is liable to pay tax on foreign income. Coming to next part, third one. Income from agriculture in England. Income from agriculture in Eng England, you are not given any information as in where it is received. So, we assume that this income is received in England itself. So, income from agriculture in England, it amounts to 10,000. It comes under B, that is foreign income. We are writing amount of how much? 10,000 rupees. Ten thousand income from agriculture in England. Coming to fourth point, fourth is interest on Indian income debentures, twenty thousand. Indian income debenture means the base belongs to India. 
the earning belongs to india that means it is indian income and when it is indian income it is taxable in all the three columns it will fall under first category of income that is indian income and that amounts to 10000 rupees 10000 as it is indian income we are taking it in all the columns write down 10000 in all the columns is it interest on indian company debenture sorry it is 20000 rupees make it 20 20,000 in all the three columns. Okay. Last point now. Income from profession in Tokyo. Received there. The profession is managed from India. If you are given only information that income from profession in Tokyo and received there, it becomes completely foreign income. But in this sum you are given that the profession is managed from India. Therefore, though it is a foreign income, it will be taxed in two columns that is ordinarily resident as well as not ordinarily resident has to pay tax on it. And that amounts to rupees 2 lakh. While solving the problem, you can see that I am not solving the sum as per the information given, but I am solving the problem as per the prescribed format. Okay, so whenever you are solving a sum, first we need to take Indian income. Indian income are taxed in three columns. So, all the incomes that are taxed in all the three columns should be taken first. That is Indian income. Second is foreign income. Foreign income, first we have to consider those income which are taxed in two columns. So, any business which is foreign but managed from India is taxed in two columns. So, two column income is taken later on all the incomes that are taxed only in the one column are considered here while explaining you i told you that there are four kinds of income indian foreign exempted income and past untaxed foreign income but in this sum you are given only two kinds of income indian as well as foreign income therefore Exempted income and past untaxed income we have not considered while solving the sum. Okay. In coming classes you will see that there will be given exempted as well as past untaxed foreign income in the sums. So we are done with the solution. Now we just have to total it. Take your calculators when I am totaling it. What is the total of first column? It is 4 lakh 5000 what is the total of second column it is 3 lakh 20000 and the total of last column is 1 lakh 20000 So, total income of Mr. Jaitley, if he is ordinarily resident in India, then his total income becomes 4,5,000. And if Mr. Jaitley is not ordinarily resident, his total income would be 3,20,000. And if Mr. Jaitley is non-resident in India, his total income would be 1,20,000. So, this is what we have solved a simple sum in today's class just I would like to 
summarize once again relating to the kinds of income there are four kinds of Indi income indian income foreign income exempted income and past untaxed foreign income in case of indian income the income which is earned in india or deemed to be earned in india income which is received in india or deemed to be received in india are considered as Indian income and Indian income are taxed in all the three columns ordinarily resident, not ordinarily resident and non-resident. Second kind of income is foreign income. Foreign income are classified into two complete foreign income and one more is foreign income where the business is managed from India. If the business is managed from India the amount is taxed in two columns. And if it is not managed from India, then it is taxed only in one column. Third kind of income is exempted income. Exempted income are not taken in any of the column. Last one, past and tax foreign income also are not taken in any of the column. I hope you have understood this sum. Don't only just watch the video make sure that you are solving each and every problem in the notebook. Okay, so next class we will come up with one more 15 mark sum with more adjustments. Thank you.